Welcome, friend, hi everyone, I'm Claudia. As you know, we put a high emphasis on pronunciation at English for my future. Today, Philip and Gabby delve into the different ways to pronounce the letter S. The letter S has three forms. Let's learn more as we join Gabby's English class. Morning, Gabby. Morning, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. Um, today, we're going to see our lesson from the other day about pronunciation. And today's lesson, remember, we're going to practice, do we say S or Z sound at the end of a singular verb? or plural noun. Let's go over the rules one more time. Uh, most common combination is when we have a soft consonant, an S. We say S and release air. S. Okay. Now, for example, eats. Eats. Books. Books. Takes. Takes. Cakes. Cakes. Stops. Stops. Makes. 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 Okay. Then the next combination is when we have a hard consonant, meaning a consonant sound like b, g, r, o, m, that we make in the throat and vibrate. Well, we keep the S in the throat too, but we make it a Z sound where we cover mouth, don't release air, and Z. So that would be words like cars, cars. drives, drives. Now we open the mouth, but don't release air. Cells, cells, towels. Tells. Buildings. Buildings. Floors. Floors. Okay. And sometimes we have these blended consonants like C H Ch S H Sh or the G sounds J Ch Sh etc. When those happen, we make a schwa sound and then a Z. Uz, uz. Okay. So here's some examples. Washes. Washes. Watches. Or? Watches. Uh -huh. Changes. Changes. Manages. Manages. Dishes. Dishes. Washes dishes. He washes dishes. Okay. Okay. Now, what's the rule about double S? Double S is always S dishes. Very good. And C E or C I? C I is, is S. also S. Yes. They're mixed. C E or C I together make the S sound. Yes. Okay. Now, you wrote some dialogues, didn't you, for your homework? Do you still use this? No, I have no use for it anymore. Very good. I like this exercise you made because when we when it's a noun, even if the, there are a lot of words that are have a noun and a verb form with the same spelling, use is a noun. Use is a verb. Very good. Okay. Um, My first example is a bus driver drives buses. A bus driver drives buses. Z and then schwa S, okay? A teacher teaches students. Teaches students, very good. A real estate agent sells houses. Sells houses, very good. Okay, now I have a riddle for you.
Ah, now I have a riddle for you. Remember, a riddle is like an adivinanza. Yes. Remember, sometimes a word can have a noun form and a verb form. Yes. All right. How about this riddle? What is the difference between a jeweler and a jailer? I know, teacher. What's I that? Simple. A jailer sells watches and a jailer watches sells. Okay, how about this one? What has four wheels and flies? I don't know, teacher. Remember, fly can be the verb. Yes. Now, fly the noun is an insect. So it has four wheels and <gasps> flies. A garbage truck. A garbage truck. Four <laughs> wheels and flies. You I did win, teacher. Yes, you did. Okay. Well, next time we'll, on the next grammar talk, we'll do past tense pronunciation. Thank you, Gabby. We'll see you tomorrow. Very good work today. Thanks, Isha.